Hey guys, this is Taylor Seaton with Topaz Labs, and today we will be learning about film grain. Film grain is the random texture that is found on processing photography film due to small particles of metallic silver being present during processing. Film grain is a great way to add a nostalgic feel to digital images or to create an interesting texture. I'm going to begin by collapsing all of the panels in Topaz Studio so we have a little bit more room to work. I'm going to add the film grain adjustment and then I'm going to zoom in so that we can really see the grain of this image. First, you'll start by increasing the strength slider. As you increase the strength, you'll see the grain start to appear on your image. The size slider affects the size of the grain, while the randomizer affects the random pattern of the grain. The noise type controls the color of the grain. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see the color. For black and white images, I typically use the gray grain. For this image, I want it to be fairly grainy, so I'm going to increase the strength as well as the size and the randomizer. And film grain is as simple as that. Film grain also works well to adding texture to skin. I'm going to add the film grain adjustment again. And for this image, I'll use the colored grain. Again, I'm going to zoom in. You can see that her face has been a little bit over retouched and it looks just a slightly plastic. So I'm going to up the strength as well as the size. I'm going to increase the randomizer to one so that there will not be a pattern but a more natural effect. Then I'm going to go into our adjustment level masking. I wanna mask out these dark areas where there's a lot of grain. I'm going to use a luminosity mask to do this. Scroll down a little bit so that you can see it. The density, I'm going to decrease. The luminosity, as well as the range. So it creates a more natural effect in the dark areas and in the highlights. I'm satisfied with that. Zoom back out a little bit you can see that it just adds a slight texture. The last thing I would like to share with everyone is one of my custom presets I use for the black and white conversion for the images in this tutorial. You can do so by searching film grain tutorial in the effects panel and it will bring up this effect. It features a precision contrast adjustment, a black and white adjustment, as well as a film grain adjustment. The film grain adjustment's parameters are set to 0, 0 so that you can change them on your own. And that's all I have for today, guys. Thanks for watching.